Hi friends, welcome to Offer Studies YouTube channel. This is part 15 in Microsoft Fabric playlist. In this video, let's try to understand what is lake house and how to create it. Uh, for simple way to understand this, imagine like lake house is uh, the data lake storage which has the big data storage capability plus the analytics capability related data warehousing. So generally in real time what you have uh, if you think about like you will be having a data lake storage gen 2 where you generally have something called files all your data big data files and also you will be all this data you will be finally moving it into some warehouse right so, some data base or some data warehouse okay so you will move there so why you do that because uh, once you have the data in the data warehouse then what you can do from that warehouse maybe you can do some power bi reporting kind of thing right so you can connect to that and you can analyze the data so but generally this database usually like sql sql data warehouse right but with the introduction of the lake house what happened the same gen 2 where you keep the files and all the data lake storage that itself can be used for the data warehousing layer also that means this layer where you have the data warehouse or a database that can be replaced with Gen2 itself because of the lake house capability. And once you create a lake house there, then you can directly connect your Power BI reports to it. So you can directly do your analytics there itself. So technically, lake house means on top of Gen2, let's, uh, let's assume this is like a Gen2 storage. So on top of the Gen2 storage, uh, you will kind of create a databases actually. And these databases will call it like a lake house databases. Okay and that databases will contain tables also and generally those tables format will be in delta format okay so technically on the gen2 storage itself you can create a database and you can create tables also uh, which are delta table format and they actually store in a file format only behind the scenes and uh, since you have this table capability and you, you can perform the inserts updates deletes everything is possible okay uh, since because of all these capabilities, you can directly replace your warehouse with this lake house. So you no need to go with a SQL kind of approach tables. You can use the lake house there. So lake houses are modern data warehousing tools. Okay. So to know about what is exactly lake house database means, lake house table means, uh, go to my Synapse Analytics playlist. So in my Synapse Analytics playlist, last few videos I have covered about the Delta format, lake house and all those things okay so please watch from there okay and here if you see this diagram also tells the same thing so lake house means you have the flexibility where you scale your data storage that is lake data lake plus you have the data warehouse capabilities as well so lake house is a platform that combines that combines the data lake and also since it will give the data warehousing capabilities you can it gives the ability to query and analyze the data also like how you do in a data warehouse so lake house is a combination of uh, a storage layer along with the data data warehousing layer okay so you can keep the under this entire lake house is scalable right because it has a gen 2 storage behind the scenes you can keep huge number of data you can keep huge amount of the data there and you can analyze it and everything you can do it the moment I say it suppose and it will help you to analyze that itself tells that it will give a SQL endpoint also for you with that you can analyze it. Okay, so let's see how to create this data warehouse. Uh, sorry, create this lake house. Uh, if it is all things are not making sense in the upcoming videos, I will practically work with a lake house. So you will get more data so or more idea. So let's go to our browser. This is our fabric and here what you can do. You can click this data. Uh, you can go to this experiences. And there is something called data engineering experience, right? So click that data engineering experience and you can click the lake house to create it. So right now I'm going into the my workspace and in my workspace, I have nothing. I can also click in this new button and here I should see lake house option. You see this? So this option also will help you to create the lake house. So let me go with this lake house option. It will ask me to give the name. So I'm giving like simple lake house, sample lake house. Okay. So that's the name of the lake house. I'm giving it and I'm hitting the create button. So this will create the lake house for me. And once the lake house creates, it automatically loads the lake house explorer. Right now, whatever you are seeing on the screen, it is a lake house explorer. 
here it will show you all the tables and files and it will give you the menu here uh, that will help you to ingest the data from different sources into the lake house we will discuss all this in our upcoming videos uh, but if you see here it will also telling that you can basically get the data into lake house from multiple ways either you can upload it or you can use the data flows or you can use the ddf pipelines or you can use the notebooks shortcuts and you can also start with a sample data which fabric will give you by default right so basically as i said lake house is a data warehouse basically and uh, of course you need to get the data from different sources there and you can get it in via well, a lot of ways like data pipelines data flows notebooks we will discuss all this in our upcoming video and once you keep the data in the lake house you kind of perform transformations on it uh, like maybe executing a notebooks there executing a data flows there and once the data is ready in the delta table formats then there itself you can analyze the data there itself you can write a sql queries or this data directly can connect to the power bi and perform the reporting part so nowhere we are using any sql database physically so lake house itself will do the all the uh, data warehousing capabilities for you okay so if i go back to my workspace by clicking this my workspace you can see that lake was created and it also gives that it also gives you a sql endpoint where that sql endpoint only you can connect to the data in the lake house and you can perform the sql executions that is like a analyzing your data so let me refresh this page and when i refresh this page right you should see one more thing like semantic model so when you create a lake house you will get a lake house you will get a sql endpoint and also you will get a semantic model that's like it's like a model where you have the all the tables whatever you have in your lake house will be uh, properly categorized we will discuss more about this semantic model and sql endpoint and how we can get the data into lake house in our upcoming videos so technically we get all these three things when you create a lake house okay and if you want to delete the lake house you can go here and you can simply opt for the delete option that will help you to delete the lake house as well so i hope you got an idea so lake house is like a modern data warehouse you can ingest the data there from different sources and this lake house is actually built on top of the data lake storage gen 2 only with the help of delta format it will allow you to create a tables since you have a tables you can directly perform your analytics there that means you can execute a sql queries you can connect your power bi or the reporting tools with the lake house data directly and do the reporting part as well so that's it in this video i hope you got an idea what is lake house and how to create it in our upcoming videos we will try to ingest the data into lake house and also then we will try to take the data and perform some transformations and also we will try to create a report by connecting to lake house so i hope you like this video thank you for watching if you like the video please hit the like button and also subscribe to the for first studies youtube channel thank you